Welcome back to the channel, Pokemaniacs. Today we're talking about some new Japanese figures that are coming out. This is in the line of their kids' toys. So this different kind of like more more uh, stout look of the figures. These figures are coming out this February and really solid lineup of Pokemon. And I've definitely got eyes on the Mew and the Metagross, but you let me know your favorites down below. And speaking of favorites, a lot of people might be psyched on this one because there is a life-size Psyduck plushie coming out. Pokemon has released a few of these in the past. The Psyduck is coming out this July, and the plush is coming in at 31 and a half inches tall and only weighs nine pounds, which is probably good because if it was like actually fully life-sized, life weight, the side deck would weigh about 43 pounds, which would be terrible for shipping, and you wouldn't be able to like swing it around and raise it up like this in the photo. Or you'd be really jacked, I guess, like just lifting 50 pounds all the time. The Pokemon Center is also releasing a new line of keychains. This one is the Chikara Sukita keychain line. This is featuring fainted Pokemon, which is, I mean, kind of sad, but it's like a really fun theme at the same time, not like in a weird sadistic way, but there's also a leftovers keychain, which is super cool because the held items, they don't typically get like real life items made from them. So I think that's pretty cool. And maybe those Pokemon fainted because there's also a new line of poison Pokemon coming out. There's a whole collection on them. This is the Deadly Poison Danger Collection. This comes out on February 3rd in Japan through the Pokemon Center. Features all sorts of like really crazy items. There's this Clodsire plushie. There's a Marini head massager. Never like thought about that, but I love it. There's a Toxel light tissue cover, vial plume. There's a Gulpin paperclip holder. The list goes on. They really have some just, like I said, unique, crazy items in these collections. And it just makes me wonder like how good would they do in an international market? But I don't know, I guess we'll see. Moving on back locally, we have the Funko Pop Deluxe Moment starters from Kanto. I don't know what to call this thing, but it's the big giant set of the Funko. It, it's released officially everywhere, very rapidly was leaked out, and then now it's just available on all sorts of different sites. Prices vary from like $50 to $70. The release date varies also from now to like February or March. So this thing's all over the place, but it is a very substantial display coming in at 18 inches wide and 13 and a quarter inches tall. So it's definitely a statement piece, and I'll list a few different retailers down below along with all of the other items I can uh, down in the description for you guys if you want to add things to your collection or maybe you're getting a gift for somebody else. Also in Funko News, we got the images of the new Lucario pearlescent figure that's going to be coming out exclusive to Pokemon Center. I don't know when this thing's coming out, but my guess is usually when these images come out, it's within about a week or so. So it came out last week, I was on high alert for Wednesday that it was going to be dropping, but didn't see anything, so maybe it's going to be this Wednesday? I don't know. I'll try to tweet stuff out and I'll throw it down into the uh, community tab on the channel. So this way we can all try to do our best at getting one of those. I do hope these 3D rendering images, I hope that they're pretty close to what we get in real life because like the pearlescent effect on them is really nice in those renders. Because in real life the pearlescent was uh, maybe a little bit lackluster in my opinion. If you feel like your Rotom phone case is a little bit lackluster in Scarlet and Violet, you might want to boot up the game because there's a new code right here, uh, Neon Rotom cover. Put that into the mystery gift and you'll get yourself a new Rotom cover for your phone. And it looks pretty good. And then last week we also got the reveal of the new mythical Pokemon, Pecha Runt. It's kind of funny, Pokemon's going kind of hard on these like food-based Pokemon right now where we had like Pulcha guys not too long ago. Because Pecha Runt is based off of Pecha Berry's uh, like mochi. So I don't know, we'll see how many more of these things we get uh, this generation. Then over in the cards we got a new Iano Premium Tournament Collection. This is coming out on April 5th, and it's the latest in our milk carton collections that we've been getting. Comes with a full art card of Iano, three hollow Iano, 65 card sleeves, a deck box, large metallic coin, two condition markers, dice, six booster packs, and a code card. I imagine this one's going to be pretty popular. Iano has developed quite the following in the last little bit, but we'll see. Then also coming out on April 5th is the new Grafii EX box. This one is going to be coming out for $22 on April 5th and comes with a Grafii EX promo in regular and jumbo form, a hollow Shrudel promo, four packs of cards, and a code card. Then since we're talking about cards, if you're looking for some card accessories, specifically binders, Vault X is bringing back a lot of their drops from the first uh, few sets of the Scarlet and Violet era. Those are going to be releasing this week, so down in the description I'll have my code that you can use at checkout or use my link should save you 10%. Plus they have a lot of cool colors right now. Like I just picked up the purple and pink ones. There's also the orange one that I'm looking at, but Vault-X is my choice in binders. 
And like I said, if you use that code at checkout on their site, you do get that 10% off. And looking at more themed accessories, the Pokemon TCG is gonna be getting some new accessories from the Pokemon Center. These are looking fantastic. These all are gonna be releasing on January 26th and do feature some just really fun designs and fun imagery, like they're bringing back Bianca, like totally even forgot about her for a minute. No offense to Bianca fans, but she's a part of a great design here. I think my favorite item though is these Scarlet and Violet books. They're actually like card storage boxes. So you like fold them, put them together and you can put all of your cards inside. I think those would be like some super cool display items to have like just like on a shelf, like your background, like whatever it is, like I think that looks really cool. And it'd be really cool if you came back for the next video on the channel. So make sure to subscribe, hit that like button on your way out, comment down below your favorite items, leave an emoji just for engagement. I appreciate you guys. Take care of each other out there and I'll see you very soon on the next one.